Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillard, and I'm so pleased to be a contributor here on our worldwide network at African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you come in, give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share this broadcast. Thank you so very much. Okay, family. Now, let me just say this. America, and frankly, our Western colonial white supremacist nations, institutions, and systems, and persons, talk black to me. After we call them out for their racism, after we call them out for their anti-blackness, and because it's so much, <laughs> because it's been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, talk black to me, almost 500, in the most intense way. Some could make the case it's been thousands, but most intensely for the past 467 plus years, listen, it doesn't look good when we can prove in no limit of time that you are a problem and you go about our planet stealing, killing, destroying, and lying. Why am I bringing this up? So when we call the oppressive class out, and even when they see themselves like the, the terrorists that we see all across the United States, like the written houses and the many, 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 many others, um, the young Caucasian boys, young men that's picking up where their fathers and mothers left off using AK 47s, military style weapons, and just taking the lives of people wholesale for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, uh, that makes any sense to us. I mean, we know what it's you know really about in terms of the survival and stuff, but you understand. So when when we call them out and we when they see their own pattern, they try to deflect from the pattern because it's so bad, it's so horrific. So what do I mean? In this particular case, the view, uh, this article that came out talking about the view ended up having to make an apology because they uh, gave some misinformation about Nazi protesters that were at, that was at, that that was at turning point right let me just give you a little bit more um yeah of the background so reading from the independent the view issued an apology on air to turning point USA after the daytime talk show was threatened with a cease and desist for incorrectly stating earlier this week that a group of neo-Nazis who held a small rally outside of the conservative group's conference in Florida were tied to the event. So there were actual neo-Nazi protesters within proximity, but the uh, turning points said that they weren't actually directly part of the event. So The View ended up making an apology about it, right? So this host on the Hill, this news platform, they were talking about the story. And so when the black lady on the show was kind of going back and forth with the white host about, you know, why is it that Turning Point seems to be attracting these types of protesters, even if they're not tied directly to their organization, where he wants to invoke the Nation of Islam. Listen to this clip. Danger of literal Nazis taking over Turning Point or which is not, a, you know, not an organization I've been associated with or or I. I probably have many differences with Charlie Kirk and a lot of the people associated with it, but any more than like the Nation of Islam is about to take over democratic activists. I mean, I've seen plenty of those people at plenty of marches for various- Where where, where have you seen the Nation of Islam lobbying the women's for march, some- The well, the pro the, at protest events, they no, march that, alongside- No, the accusation at the women's march was that one of the organizers happens to be sympathetic to 
Yeah, Louis well, that's Farrakhan. a more direct connection than we can right, find it here. Wasn't, it wasn't like a, a phalanx of na a nation of uh, Islam protesters arguing for the Women's March. Well, how to... much was a, it was a phalanx? How many, I, mean, I would love to see how many actual Nazi people were standing outside this building. Was Look, it like, I, again, was it hundreds or was I, it six? I, I, I bet I'm it's not, closer to six. I, well, it's a little more than six, but I'm not interested in, again, overcharging TPUSA with yeah. anything that, that it is asked of. All I'm saying is I personally would ask why it is that people from a group that I don't feel any affinity for feel that they have any access to me, any right, any would have any success in arguing that I should move farther in their direction when I am already, in my view, so diametrically uh, opposed to everything that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. And instead of simply raising those kind of hypotheticals, Tucker Carlson is very good at this. He doesn't make a lot of specific claims. He will just ask the questions of, does this make sense to you? I think that the view would have been much safer just staying in this realm of, it's, it's interesting that these people keep showing up at these kinds of events instead of trying to make these direct claims that obviously weren't true. See, this is what I'm talking about. Deflection. In the mind of the white supremacists, when you are a group or a person that fights against white supremacy, they want to consider you tantamount to them. <laughs> The Nation of Islam has zero history of terrorizing and destroying anybody. Talk black to me. So it seems to me, perhaps, the Hill should consider issuing an apology for improperly invoking a pro-black organization with neo-Nazi groups. See, this is the power of black people. These platforms here that our brother Phil Scott is the founder of and thank, uh, and has folks like myself on this platform to give you the truth. That's why the black media is important. The true black media family. The new black media, really. The black grassroots. The reason we are so important is because we're the counter voice to mainstream media improperly labeling us. Because every time she's caught red-handed, she wants to pull somebody else in there so that they don't look as bad. Baby, you, that, that dog don't hunt over these parts. Talk black to me. Let me hit my gal. For those of y'all that don't know, the Biggie Show is the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. And when I need to amplify a point, sometimes I have to bring out the gavel. Plus, I want you to know that the gavel is also a symbol of authority. This symbol is not just something that should be associated with white uh, uh, judges and white policymakers and government officials. I want you to know that our word is official. We're controlling the narrative, and I dare say we're controlling world events. My name is Vicki Dillard. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to register for Vicki University, my weekly mastermind for at least three weeks for the month. Spiritual school, your life will never be the same. Signs and wonders follow it. Check me out on my website at VickiPlanet.com. The link is below, VickiPlanet.com. Follow the prompts that say enter Vicky University. Ooh, I'm so excited. Sounds so yummy. I'm also known there as Goddess Guru. I don't want you to miss this. It's on sale for an entire month, only $44. It's not going to stay that price. Get in where you fit in and get you some breakthroughs in your life. I can't wait to see you there. Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we'd like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but well, this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya.